pleasure to be Padas. And I'm just really Bibi Arubia. And I'm Louis Recto. And this, this is a group of Buruksas Algorithm Spanning Tree. Hi everyone, now we are discuss about the history of Burukas Algorithm. Burukas Algorithm is the first algorithm that developed by Otakar Burukka in 1926 to find minimum spanning tree in a graph. Burukka used the to find the most efficient routine for an elliptical grid. The goal of the algorithm is connect of components that share test age between the components. It begins with all the vertices considered as separate components. Hi everyone! What is Burubka's algorithm? Burubka's algorithm is a way to find a minimum spanning tree. A spanning tree where the sum of edge weights is minimized. It was the first algorithm developed to find MST. Use it to find the most efficient routing for an electrical grid. Hello everyone, I'm Jasper Lins B. Villarubia and this is the Brookas Algorithm Spanning Tree Example. Okay, this is the step 1. Write out a list of components. For this graph, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. And this is optional, but helps you to keep track. This is the step 2. Highlight the cheapest outgoing edge for each node in your list. For example, node A has outgoing edges with weight 1, 1, and 7. So, we highlight 1. And continue sequentially. For this list, go to B and C and so on. For the step 2 guidelines, first, at this stage, only highlight one cheapest edge for each node. And guidelines number 2. For a tie node, for a tie node E, we have two edges with a weight of 4. Assign a lower weight to one of the edges. This is an arbitrary but must stay consistent throughout the process. For example, I'll make the edge to the left lowest weight. Here, I color it pink. And the, step, the guidelines 3 Always highlight the cheapest edge even if it has been highlighted before. Do not choose the edge with the next lowest weight. For practical purpose, this means you might not have to highlight anything for some nodes. If the cheapest weight has already been highlighted. This is the step 3. Highlight the separate tree cluster, which is the white colored, the white colored shaded, and the empty colored shaded, and the pink shaded. These are the set of connected nodes, which we call components. This is the step 4. Repeat the algorithm of each component, each differently colored set. This time, for each node, choose the cheapest edge outside of the component. For example, A, B, C, D, H, L is one component. For node A, the cheapest edge outside the component is the 7 because node 1 is connected to component B
In the guidelines for step 4, make sure you are choosing the cheapest edge outside of component. For this graph and this iteration, those edges are thin colored white, this Lastly, as in the first iteration, skip highlighting an edge if it's already been highlighting this time around. The last step 5. If your nodes are all connected in a single component, you're done. If not, repeat step 4. The following graph shows the final MSP or the minimum spanning tree. I've erased any unused edges, the 3, 9, and 9. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe!